Kittle recently released a massive update that's gonna help us improve our design quality and in turn, hopefully lead to more sales. Now, my goal in this video is to get you up to date with what changed and show you how we can improve our design process using Kittle and these new updates. So, let's get to it. First, I wanna show you something I've really been liking so we can now combine elements using the Shape Builder tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and Kittle up to the templates and then under logos, I'm just gonna select a uh, random one. How about this hot dog company? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and select all the elements here and just show you. So we've got six different elements. Under Shape Builder on the right hand side, if I click that first button called Union, it merges them now into a single object, okay? As long as you have multiple elements selected, you'll be able to do the Union option. Now I'm gonna undo the Union because I want to show you other ways you might want to use the Shape Builder. So now I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen and I'm going to click where it says Shape Tools. I'm going to select Rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle around that word, frankly. Now I'm going to change the color to red and I'm going to right click it and send it to the back. Okay, so I've got the text above right there. It may not be visible, but it is there. I'm going to select both. Actually, I'm going to take the rectangle. You know what? Let's add a... Uh, Let's add a rounded border. So up here, I selected the rectangle. It may be hard to see because they're both the same color. Uh, I'm going to add a rounded border of 10 pixels. Okay, so now you can kind of see that we uh, rounded each corner. Now let me select both. And I wanted to show you guys, I can click subtract. And now it has cut out the text, frankly, from that rectangle. And it's got like kind of that negative visual effect. Uh, I could show you here too, if I bring this to the front, and I start moving it around some of these other objects, you can see it shows what's in the background through. So it's a true negative there. Um, alternatively, I can select both and I can also do the intersect option and it is almost like a clipping mask where it applies the red uh, box color to the, you know, frankly text. So if I was to change the color of, you know, the box up top to black and then do the intersect, it should produce black text, there we go. And also the last one I wanted to show you guys is that fourth option there called exclude intersection. It's gonna do what the subtract did for us where it just gives us that, um, it takes the text out of the box. Okay, so I wanted to make you guys aware that the Shape Builder tool now exists and I'm sure there's many more applications than what I just showed you, but this is what came to mind. Like I don't consider myself a power user of Kittle. <laughs> like I, I like to keep things simple and just get straight to the money, but this is really cool that something that required a lot more effort before where you had to manually change the color of what was in the foreground, you no longer need to do. The next thing I wanna show you is called vector point editing. So continuing with our hot dog graphic here, uh, as long as you have a vector graphic now, you can double click it and you'll notice the points that make up the vector shape become clickable. You can simply click and move it around to create your edits, you can hold shift by the way and it does like um, specific controlled angles, okay? Now I was thinking as an example that you might actually use, maybe we try to make it look like there's a bite taken out of the hot dog. So uh, you can also, when you click any one of these points, you get those additional uh, points that you can click to manipulate. I just wanted to make you aware of that as well. So I'm gonna click this point right here and I'm going to kind of make an indent there, okay? And then I'm gonna, whoops going to control the points to make it look like maybe a bite was taken out of that end of the hot dog. Okay, something like that you might wanna do <laughs> on an as needed basis. I don't typically edit these graphics as much. I'm typically using them as is, but now we can use them as is and make these uh, manipulations, right? Make these edits to them on the go as needed. Next up, I wanna show you how to use the pen tool. So in this demo, I'm gonna show you how I might use the pen tool. First, I'm actually gonna draw a square though using the shape tool because it's gonna make this a little bit easier on me. Next, I'm gonna select the pen tool at the bottom there and I'm actually gonna click in like the bottom left corner of the square and I'm gonna hold shift so I get a perfect 90 degree angle, all right? And then you can see it actually has like a snap ruler for me. So I'm gonna click the middle and I'm gonna go down to the other corner of the square and then I'm gonna connect the two with a, a horizontal line. So now I've got this triangle shape and you can see I've now made a little bit of like a house. Now I can actually also select that top triangle and invert it, okay? Bring it down here like that. I'm gonna change the color to white so we can see it. Then I'm gonna select the background, make it wider. I'll match the width of that top triangle 
now we've made a little email icon. Like again, I never profess to be good at graphic design, but it hasn't stopped me from making a lot of print on demand sales. That's just one basic example. I can delete that, pull up the pen tool again. And I just wanted to make sure you were aware that as you are drawing with the pen tool, if you hold your left click as you go, you can see it creates the curve for you. Okay. As you're generating the shape. Okay, and it goes any way you want. So here's an even better example of what you can do with the pen tool from one of Kittle's founders, Toby, who did this on their live stream when they announced the release of this tool. The next thing I wanted to show you is Kittle's reframe feature. So for showing the reframe, I'm gonna grab this photo from Pexels, okay, and just use it for the demo purpose. I'm gonna paste it here into Kittle. By the way, if you didn't know, you can just copy paste from your Windows clipboard and it'll just add the graphic. Once that loads in, there we go. It took a second because it is a pretty high resolution graphic. I'm gonna move this over to the left-hand side. Now with this image selected, do you see above me on the video here, it says under tools, reframe. So I'm gonna click reframe. I'm gonna leave it on custom, and then I'm just gonna drag this left-hand side out to the left and watch this magic. I'm gonna click the reframe button, give it a minute, and it's gonna generate basically a magic fill. And check that out, it has extended our photo for us. It even knew to like keep the background blurred, you know, so that the parrot stays in the uh, foreground and is the focal point. Now, what I was gonna do is add some text here, all right, and I'm just gonna use Kittle's pre-made text. I think it looks great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this. Uh, I'm gonna change the text color to white, okay? So I think it'll stand out a little bit better. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and you can see it says Jackie's Ashbourne Dry Gin. Uh, why don't we make it say something like the Parrot Rum, Parrot Rum. And then what should the parrot's name be? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say Toucan Sam, but that's probably trademarked. Why don't we just say Ryan, Ryan the Parrot. Okay, so now we got some Parrot Rum. Now to make it stand out a little bit, uh, I'm blocking it. Let me move myself over here in the video recording. Uh, you can see down here it says uh, text shading. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And you'll notice they've actually got some pre-made selections that we can do. So I'll just use that first one. I'm gonna change the color to black, okay? And I'm gonna do the same for the text underneath as well, okay? I will change it from gray to black. And that's just gonna differentiate the text that says Ryan, oh, it didn't say Ryan's, it says Ryan. Uh, Ryan's Parrot Rum. It's gonna help give it a little bit of a differentiation against the background, which does have some light elements. And given that it's white text, you do want people to be able to read the brand name. I might even make this like bigger, honestly, too. Whoops. Um, I'm just like both text elements here. And then just drag the corner. Okay, and I think that looks really good. And that's the reframe feature. I wanted to make you aware that you can collaborate now with friends, family, whoever, using Kittle Teams. Go up to the top right corner where it says share and simply type in their email address, okay, to add them to your team. Now, you can collaborate with things like comments in your artboards. Down here in the bottom uh, middle, next to the pen tool, you can enter comment mode. I can go ahead and say, do you prefer a bite taken out, question mark, and I can post that and now anybody can jump in here in comment mode and they can see that I asked, do you prefer the hot dog with the bite taken out? I might also ask something like, hey, do you like this font? Okay, and ask them that as well, okay? Collaborate with the team on the actual artboard so they can provide contextual feedback. Now what I can do is jump out of comment mode and let's say that they said, hey, I don't like this font and they want to, uh, sorry, I'm gonna delete this, click the three dots, hit delete thread. And they say, no, I don't like that font. So I can delete this and now I need to go into the text tool, okay? And I need to re-add the word frankly, okay? So I'm gonna type in frankly. I will drag this down and reposition it right there. Okay, when I go in to the fonts selection in Kittle, this is relatively new, but now you can bookmark your favorite fonts. So you see the icon in the right-hand side? it puts all of my bookmarked fonts at the top. And by the way, if you wanna hit pause and check out some of my favorite fonts in Kittle, which they have hundreds, they might even have over a thousand, honestly, they have a ton. Uh, but these are some of my personal favorites. I can also just scroll down further and let's say, oh, I forgot to bookmark Adventurer 03. Boom, click it, and then it shows up at the top with my other favorite fonts. I'm gonna have to jump back in there after bookmarking it. Yep, and there it is at the top. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply Adventure 03 font. 
Okay, and I'm going to apply the red color to match everything else here. Boom. And now we've got our Frankly Hot Dogs with a new font. Now, the last thing I wanted to share is that we can go ahead and hit the mock-up button and send this artboard over to Kittle's massive mock-up selection library. Uh, a lot of us, you guys know me. If you've been subscribed, you know I'm all about generating sales. And so we need to get to that bottom line. Let's take our logo here and let's mock it up on something that can be purchased. So now I've got my Frankly Hot Dog logo with the bite taken out and the new font selection there uh, applied to a t-shirt. And if I like how this looks, I can simply hit download mock-up or if I wanna say, no, I'm gonna be selling this on a different color t-shirt, maybe a light blue, uh, I can go ahead and change the t-shirt color very easily there with that color selector. And boom, now I've got a blue t-shirt. They've got a ton of different products over here as well. Like, let's say I want to sell it on a coffee mug as well. Okay, boom. I type in coffee mug and there's different selections. This is one of a lady holding the mug. So you can see her fingers go over portions of the logo. Um, if I don't want that one, I can go ahead and select just a mock-up of the mug itself. If I'm trying to sell on like Amazon or Etsy, this is typically the type of mock-up that I would lead with. So that's it guys, that's what I wanted to show you. Kittle's doing some pretty cool things these days and really trying to make themselves the premier destination for print-on-demand sellers and designers alike. So if you're not on Kittle, use my link in the description to get started. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon with another new video.